أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May the peace and blessings of Allah be with all of you Allah says in the Quran in Surah At-Tawbah verse 129 Hasbi Allah la ilaha illa hu alayhi tawakkaltu wa huwa rabbul arsh al-azim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Allah is sufficient and there is no one except Him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On Him we put our dependence and our tawakkul and our dependence is solely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the Lord of the great and magnificent throne. Now, one of the things that we learn from this Quranic verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, despite what we face in our lives, that we should understand that despite what comes our way, that we have Allah beside of us. Let us think about what Ibrahim, Prophet Ibrahim said when he was placed into the fire. He called out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, acknowledging that nothing can befall him in terms of chastisement, in terms of punishment. None hardship can befall him. No harm can befall him, except by the permission of God and that he reside his trust in God. And that is why he said, Hasbi Allah la ilaha illa illa hu alayhi tawakkaltu. He says, sufficient is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that there is no God but Him. And this is uh, something that we should understand in life, in our lives. Whether it is in our homes, in our workplace, in our daily activities, we face hurdles. Sometimes we have to climb up bumpy roads and hills and that needs determination it needs steadfastness and that determination and steadfastness comes only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and therefore we should learn these words and understand them and understand them well see hasbi Allah la ilaha illahu alayhi tawakkaltu wa huwa rabbul arsh al -azim. to him we put our dependence on for he is the Lord of the great throne. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned this at the end so we may understand who we are turning to for help. The Lord of the great and magnificent throne of authority. Throne signifies authority. Throne signifies power. When someone is on the throne, he's on a point of authority and the point where he has the power to give and determines. A king on a throne takes care of his people or disregard his people. But a compassionate king will take care of his people. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above them, above any leadership and above any power. And He, Allah, is the one that is a compassionate Lord, but at the same time, the mighty Lord, the powerful Lord. And His greatness is seen here in this Quranic verse in that He described Himself as the Rabbul Arsh al -Azim, the Lord of the Great Throne or the Magnificent Throne. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless all of you and guide you and protect you. And uh, we, we pray that you make the commitment that you will constantly remember Allah in your good times and your bad times and you will glorify Him in all of your affairs. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته